There will always be players in Major League Baseball who make you wonder, geez, whatever happened to that guy, during any given season. No different is the 2022 season, and this time we're particularly interested in talking about players who have let us down time and again. In this video, we're talking about five pitchers and five batters who have made the biggest failed comebacks in MLB. So let's dive straight into it. At number 10 is LHP, Aroldis Chapman, New York Yankees. Despite being selected as an all-star for the eighth time last season, Aroldis Chapman's early dominance quickly broke down around the the time MLB started to tighten down on sticky stuff. Over the course of his remaining 38 outings, he had a 5.4 ERA. Even when we accept that this was a coincidence, it is now quite evident that age will be the seasoned closer for the New York Yankees in 2022. His body had a difficult year, particularly because of an Achilles problem that kept him out for nearly six weeks. Meanwhile, his signature fastball has slowed from an average high of 100.4 miles an hour to 97.9 miles per hour. Although it's clear that Chapman has a solid fastball, the 3.0 8 miles per hour gap between it and the typical relief pitcher's heater is the smallest it's ever been. Up next, number 9, RHP Craig Kimbrell, Los Angeles Dodgers. Craig Kimbrell is a well-known closer who was also selected as an all-star in 2021, just like Chapman. It was his eighth selection, and with the 0.49 ERA that he brought with him when he was dealt from the Chicago Cubs to the Chicago White Sox, it was unquestionably well-earned. However, Kimbrell's ERA has increased to 2.26 at the end of the year. He struggled at times on the south side with a 5.09 ERA in 23 innings while allowing five home runs. Kimbrell has been a sore spot in the bullpen that otherwise leads the majors in F war, but the Los Angeles Dodgers had the correct idea to buy low on him in a bad contract exchange. It is particularly stunning because his strikeout rate is the lowest it has ever been at 26.9%, or it wouldn't be startling if it weren't so clear that his fastball velocity is continuing to fall. Age has dawned for Kimbrell, just like it did for Chapman, as shown by the fact that his fastball has also also been reduced to being sort of regular. Following up at number 8 is RHP Dylan Bundy, Minnesota Twins. The 2022 season saw Dylan Bundy finally live up to the expectations that surrounded him during his prospect days, but it took longer than anticipated. He receives votes for the Cy Young Award thanks to the Los Angeles Angels 3.29 ERA. The year 2021 saw disaster quickly follow as Bundy pitched to a 6.06 ERA and also reached other lows due to being sent to the bullpen and suffering a shoulder injury. The Minnesota Twins made a wise move by signing Bundy to a one-year, $5 million deal, though. They may gain a top-of-the-rotation starter if he could remain healthy and get his slider back in shape. This obviously hasn't happened, and the reason for this is that the second if hasn't come to pass. Despite the fact that Bundy's slider is still his primary offering, its swing and miss rate hasn't increased since a decline last year. At number seven on the list is RHP Kyle Hendricks, Chicago Cubs. However, unlike Bundy, Kyle Hendricks did not receive votes for the Cy Young Award for the first time in 2020. In 2016, when he finished with the top 2.13 ERA in the league, he previously made a push for the National League honor. Nobody could have predicted Hendricks's ERA to rise to 4.77 in 2021, much less with 200 hits and 31 home runs allowed, since he had thrown a 3.0 ERA between then and 2020. This occurred despite Hendricks's maintaining the speed boost that he experienced in 2020. Of course, he didn't really need it. His average fastball had reached 90 miles per hour just once before, so maybe 2021 was just a fluke. It turns out, not so much. Hendricks's two crucial pitches have only become worse in terms of performance. His changeup is more of a strong contact magnet than his sinker, which no longer generates many ground balls. Number six on the list is LHP Dallas Kuchel, White Sox, Diamondbacks, Rangers. Up until 2020, Dallas Kuchel's 2015 American League Cy Young award-winning season was an exception. He pitched for the White Sox during the abbreviated season with an impressive 1.99 ERA. Even if it was never maintainable, Kuchel's 5.28 ERA last year was unexpected since he was consistently beaten up. The veteran sinker baller nonetheless entered 2022 with comeback potential because he at least boosted his ground ball rate in the process, but not for long, as his worst 10-run bomb of his career on April 20 sealed his fate. It also makes sense, given how severely injured he is in the strike zone, that he has been so hesitant to enter it at all. By the end of May, the White Sox had had enough and put Kuchel on assignment. In July, the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers both acquired him just to do the same thing. On number five is OF Mike Yastrzemski. Zemski, the San Francisco Giants. Not long ago, Mike Yastrzemski appeared to be the definition of a late bloomer. The legendary Carl Yastrzemski's grandson became a standout with the San Francisco Giants after struggling for years in the Baltimore Orioles organization. In both 2019 and 2020, he blasted 31 home runs while slashing .281, .358, and .535, and even received MVP votes in the latter year. Then, in 2021, events changed. The younger Yaz saw a 200-point decline in his 
OPS while hitting 25 home runs. More precisely, the left-handed swinger's extraordinary performance versus the same side pitchers diminished. This is still the case in 2022, despite the fact that Yastrzemski's performance against right-handers has declined. He simply hasn't been able to hit their fastballs, as opposed to his prior three seasons. Next, at number four on the list is OF Joey Gallo, New York Yankees, Los Angeles Dodgers. Joey Gallo, like Kimbrell, was enjoying a good year in 2021 before being moved. Everything simply became difficult for him once the Rangers traded him to the Yankees, as he hit just .160, .303, and .404 during the final several weeks. He was only hitting .159, .282, and .339 at the start of this season when the Yankees gave up and sent him to the Dodgers. Fair enough. Gallo has performed better with the boys in blue, hitting six home runs and compiling an OPS of .722 in 35 games. However, he still bears little resemblance to the hitter who, at his best, was a 40-homer slugger with a respectably good OBP. His adversary? Soaring fastballs. Since 2017, pitchers facing Gallo have regularly raised their heaters. His performance against heaters higher than 2.5 feet from the ground, in particular, has typically been declining and has now completely collapsed in 2022. Up next, at number three, to be Trevor Story, Boston Red Sox. In the 162 games that he played with the Colorado Rockies between 2016 and 2020, Trevor Story averaged a .878 OPS, 36 home runs, and 22 stolen bases, making him one of baseball's top shortstops during that time. But as free agency approached, he started to settle for mediocrity in 2021. His throwing elbow problems caused his .801 OPS to convert to a meager 102 OPS+, plus, ruining his defensive value. To his credit, since agreeing to a six-year, $140 million contract with the Boston Red Sox, Story has remade himself into a superb second baseman. However, his bat has taken longer to recover despite a rough patch that lasted for a few weeks in May. It's hardly unexpected that Story has performed well at Fenway Park, considering that his pull power is still strong. However, his power to the opposite field has diminished, and he shares Gallo's slugging struggles when facing high fastballs. Number two on the list is LFDH Marcel Ozuna, Atlanta. It's hardly unexpected that Story has performed well at Fenway Park, considering that his pull power is strong. Even before we get into the on-field issues, Marcel Ozuna has created a lot of off-field news since re-signing with Atlanta in February of 2021 for a four-year, $64 million deal. Following his arrest in connection with a domestic disturbance and subsequent retroactive suspension by Major League Baseball, his 2021 season was over after 48 games. In August of this year, he was detained once more, this time on suspicion of a DUI. Even if Ozuna's performance was up to the standards of his 2020 season when he received MVP votes thanks to a 1.067 OPS and 18 home runs, such things would still throw a shadow over him. Evidently, it hasn't caused Gallo any problems while facing high fastballs. Taking up the number one spot on the list is CF Cody Bellinger, Los Angeles Dodgers. The turning point in Cody Bellinger's 2020 campaign was when he faced both his doom and salvation. The Dodgers advanced to the World Series thanks to his late home run in Game 7 of the National League Championship Series, but it also dislocated his shoulder. It appears that Bellinger's recovery from the second operation in 2021 was never complete. It provided justification for his poor performance and also cause for optimism moving forward. If in good health, he could be able to match his 2019 NL MVP winning performance this year. Bellinger is undoubtedly enjoying a stronger season than he did in 2021, but his line doesn't reflect an MVP caliber season at all. He has gone from being excellent to below average versus forcing fastballs since 2019, which is by far an unwelcome change. And that's a wrap for this video. Which one do you think is the biggest failed comeback? Comment below and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.